It's 2018! So if you're waking up this morning with your kids at the normal time, maybe like 6, 37 or eight, you're not alone because last night we were out late partying and having fun and we still had to wake up early. It's really hard because I feel like New Year's has these two competing traditions. You have to stay up late and party and have lots of fun to celebrate the end of the year, beginning of the new year. But then we're also trying to start these new resolutions and better ourselves, which I really believe and I love setting new goals. But then New Year's Day, I am just like wasted. I mean, I just, I haven't slept the night before and I'm cranky and my kids woke up early so I didn't get any sleep. It's just these two competing traditions that kind of sabotage each other. So either way, I am really excited for 2018 because I have some really good goals in mind. Never go to bed without cleaning the kitchen. Mop and sweep the floor every day. Exercise every day. No more eating out. No more soda. Write in my journal every night. Study the scriptures 30 minutes a day. Get thigh gap. Whatever that is. Always fold the laundry right after they're done drying. Porter, stop messing around with Piper! Stop yelling at the kids. As a mom, I have like the longest list of things that I want to be better at, that I want to be perfect at, and honestly, it's just pretty impossible. And so this year, as I'm trying to set my list for my new year, I'm really trying to be specific, really just have a small list because there's just too many things that I want to be better at. And so this year, what I'm really trying to do better at is waking up before my kids. I am just the worst, I feel. And it's hard when you have kids and you have babies coming and growing and all these different things, they're waking you up at night and so, Part of my like philosophy as a mom is sleep when you can. And so if they're sleeping in the, in the morning, then I'm gonna sleep in. Anyway, I just, I'm really gonna try to wake up before my kids so I can start getting things done, especially because another one of my goals is to do three videos a week. I'm gonna be trying to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all year long, and it just takes so much time out of my day to make these videos for you guys. So hopefully if I wake up earlier, I'm gonna shoot for 5.30 or 6 every day, at least every weekday. I'm not gonna do the weekends because that's just crazy. Other goals that I have for this year are to exercise. I'm gonna try, me and Zach are both trying this thing where you don't miss, you don't go three days without exercising. So I've just never really been very good at exercising and staying fit and healthy. So this year's the year because I'm not pregnant. I'm not planning on getting pregnant anytime soon and it's gonna be a very big transition year for us because we're finishing Zach's MBA schooling. We're gonna be moving up to Seattle and starting a new life up there. And it's just gonna be a big year for us. So we're really excited and we hope you guys can come along with us on this new year. And as I'm gonna be doing some more fun content, doing some vlogs and showing you guys our lives, I hope you guys can stick around with us. And I encourage everybody to make goals. I don't know, sometimes I, as I'm looking back at this past year, it was really hard because we had a newborn and I really wasn't focused on me. Not that I'm supposed to be focused on me, but I wasn't able to better myself a lot because the baby just took a lot of my time and a lot of my energy. So this year, I'm just really hoping to become a better mom, a better wife, a better woman, better uh, filmmaker, and I'm super excited for it. So I'll try and figure out different parts of your lives that you want to better. Make some specific, measurable goals. Write them down, put them on your mirror in your bathroom or somewhere in your bedroom or in your kitchen, maybe on your fridge, someplace where you'll see it so that you can remember your goals. And the main thing that I have to remember is that if you miss a day, it doesn't matter. Do the next day. I always feel like, you know, I lose my momentum if I miss a day or a week, but honestly, you just gotta keep going because <laughs> Like I said, New Year's Day is the worst because I'm so tired and wasted. I just gotta start, like maybe we'll just start on the second because that's the next day and we still have, you know, 364 days left of the year. Or is that the right amount? I'm not sure. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys can all make some good New Year's resolutions and stick around, make sure you subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what your guys' New Year's resolutions are. I'd love to talk to you guys about that. Hope you guys have a good New Year's Day. We'll see you on Wednesday, bye. Hey, I'm on Mama's phone. Hey, I'll talk soon. Hey, Mom, I want to talk soon. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs>